What's up, all? Today I wanted to review the Armor Roll, the Outlast Leather Restorer. I don't know why they call it Outlast. I guess it's because it's Outlast Heavy Product. But uh, I just wanted to show you how to use it and just the results of it. I'm sure you can figure out how to use it. It's pretty easy. So, it's cream based. It says it's a three in one. It cleans, conditions, and restores. Uh, just a heads up on my seat, I've already cleaned it. I used a NYC lather, so and I used a brush to actually clean everything just to get to matte finish, just to get off all the oils and stuff, so I can give you a good example of how to do it. All right, so obviously just open it, it's a pop top, which is easy for use. Put it on a microfiber, just a little dab, you know, per, I do per little panel, but you can do more just to get an idea of how much it does. And then you just kind of rub it around. So I'm gonna do maybe half the seat and then I'll show you what the other half looks like. That pond application. You just kind of wanna spread it around because you can't have too much. You can wipe it off, obviously. But Definitely use too much of this stuff and get a real gross seat. Alright, let me just show you the results. Alright, so like I said, it is really quick. You just kind of put it on. You can remove it if you like. So this is your initial finish. It's gonna be really hard to tell. This is an untreated side. Yeah, you can kind of tell. It's much flatter over here. It's much shinier over here. It'll dry up a little bit over time. But this is untreated. Treated. So it's a little bit shiny as you can tell. Like I said, it, I did just apply it. It will dry to a little more of a matte finish, but you're definitely gonna have more of a gloss than just your standard, you know, clean finish on your car. Um, this is really, leather conditioner is really good just to keeping your leather softer. And a lot of times leather has issues with drying out and cracking. If your car sits in the sun for a really long time, your leather is just gonna get really dry, start cracking. I gotta show you some. I have some in my armrest, but you can't see it from here. But yeah, so I mean, so this will actually prevent it from cracking. Because what it does, it just moisturizes. Your leather, I mean, similar to like your lips. It's like you use chapstick on your lips to moisturize it so it stops cracking and stops getting dry. And this will just keep your leather in much better condition. And if, like I said, it sits outside for a really long time, it'll hold up a lot better to the abuse of the sun. Because the sun just destroys, you know, leather, it destroys plastic. And, you know, this product is really good on pretty much all that stuff. It's good for plastic. It's good for leather. I mean, they primarily show it for leather because, you know, that's what it's good for. But yeah, it stops from UV rays. Yeah, I think it's pretty good, honestly. I've used it enough, so you can tell it's not much in there anymore. But you got to use a lot of it to make it really clean. I mean, you saw how much I did just for, you know, there, there, and half of this. I got to do the entire seat and your entire interior. So I wouldn't use it too much on your dash. You can use it on your dash, but it's going to leave kind of a shiny glow to it which is going to get a little reflective it's good to use like maybe once a year for the sake of uv protection but not super frequently seeds you can do it you can't sit on your seeds directly after let it dry for a couple hours and you can come back to it but i mean i think the product's really good i really like it i'll leave a link for it i believe it's about 10 bucks you can get it pretty much anywhere but yeah if you guys have any questions or concerns you can feel free to reach out and if you like reviews like this feel free to subscribe thank you bye